Ethan needs to be alone. Not, <laughs> not even he, like. <laughs> oh <Someone> God, <cut> that. <laughs> saying i think as well though before we get going i better address the fact that i do have a big cut on my nose and everyone's going to be like what happened because people are following me on twitter uh i was right. playing with my dog my dog bit my nose and now i have a big cut on my nose um so there you go that's what happened now you can stop asking Dude, me. it's a big cut hey it is a big cut. Um, yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, it's... Uh, I've also been playing, so... My girlfriend doesn't play games. She doesn't know anything about anything with video games. She's disgusting. She doesn't know what I talk about. Whenever I talk about... Th she's like, I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> Tyler, I'm not a gamer. I don't know what you're talking about. She doesn't say it like that. <laughs> and doesn't talk like that. She's never said that. <laughs> um, uh, but... She goes, She said to me once, she's like, oh, I really like this arcade... Well, I remember her saying she likes this arcade game. Right. And she, and she's... And I'm like, the other day, I'm like, what what is this game that you were t telling me about? And she goes, it's Galaga. I'm like, oh, all right. All right, yeah, Look up. You can buy Galaga on PlayStation Store. Mm -hmm. oh, so I've got it on the PS5 now and on my PS4. So I've taken my PS4 to her place. And I just thought, oh, you know, when she grew up, she played some Galaga. Dude... She is incredible. <laughs> like, best Gallagher player it's, of all time. It's literally, I'm like, are you the best Gallagher player in the world? Like, <laughs> it's fucking insane. That's amazing. So we spent like, so I spent like Saturday night, like she doesn't play any game. It's just this game. <laughs> and then uh, like nothing else. And like, I, I load up Gallagher on the PS4. We, Saturday night, we're like just drinking wine, getting drunk, playing turn for turn Gallagher. And I look like a piece of shit. Like, I'm good at games. I'm naturally good at any game you're going to give me. I'll be pretty decent at it. Yeah. And I felt like the worst player of any game of all time. That's how good she was at Gallagher. That's hilarious. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. She's so good that's at so it. so fucking insane, random, too. That, yeah, I know. But that's what I've been playing. I've been playing Gallagher <laughs> for good. all weekend. That man is playing Gallagher. Thought we wouldn't notice, but we did. Yeah, it's it's it is it's a lot of fun, and it's the weird because I never thought I'd share any video game with her <laughs> ever. Because um, I was go I I packed up my PS4 because I was going to give it to Jared because uh, he he's never played The Last of Us and stuff, mm -hmm. and I've got all the PS4 games on my PS5, so I don't need the PS4 for anything. Yeah. Um, so I was like, oh Jared, you can have it, and you can like play The Last of Us, Last of Us Part Two, and shit. Like they're all on the PS4, and you can play all these games. Go download it. But now I'm like, ah, oh, sorry, bro. You have to wait weeks because <laughs> um, I am platinum in <clears throat> Gallagher. And I, I'm now determined. Like, I, I've yeah. taken it personally how bad I am at it, and I'm determined to improve drastically. Yeah. Uh, I've been play continuing to play through Valhalla. And honestly, I'm getting into the swing of things with it now. It took me a little bit to get back into it, especially because, like, it's such a long game. Um, so getting just jumping straight back in and playing it again was just like... It just felt like a fucking job. But honestly, I'm really enjoying myself now. It's because so. it's a terrible game. That's so. fine. <laughs> We're not doing this again. It's over. <laughs> it's fucking over. It is, and here's the thing. It is over. <clears throat> it's over. Yeah. I've done. I've literally released my mm -hmm. last Valhalla video. Yeah, you have. Yeah. I, it's, it's, I feel like... I feel so good. Mm -hmm. Like I just feel like it's over now and I can move on with my life. Yeah, good. That's I, good. I've got a lot of relief, you know? Yeah, that's nice. That's what I like to hear. Um, and... I've also been delving back into Assassin's Creed 1 for this speedrun that I'm working on um, yeah. to finally do it. Uh, it's been good fun, actually. I've really enjoyed it because, I mean, as a kid, I played a stupid amount of Assassin's Creed 1. is an unhealthy amount of Assassin's Creed 1. More than any 10-year-old yeah. should play a game like that. Um, right, yeah. Like, just a stupid amount of times. Um, so, my knowledge of that game is just r ridiculous. I'd say it's up there with, you know, top five. Um and I'm going to prove it. I'm going to become number one. Get that world record on console. Um, yeah, yeah. what's so motivated good. you for this? And, what, know, and what's the approach honest. you're taking to, to break... So, for those who don't know, James is attempting this year, in 2021, to break the record for the fastest playthrough in Assassin's Creed 1. Mm -hmm. In the world. The world record. Yeah. So, um, what's motivated you, James, to attempt this? And how are you approaching um, doing it as well? <clears throat> um, well, I don't know why I've decided to do it. I think... I think I just... I think I've been doing, like, casual speedruns 
over the years, like every time I'm I'm not doing anything, I'm like, oh, I feel like streaming. I'll just do an AC one speed run because it's so quick to do. I can do it in like six hours, mm. um, when I'm just like fucking about and talking with chat and everything. And I thought, I wonder if I genuinely tried if I could do like as fast as the, fast as if not quicker than the world record. And the world record on console, um, and it's a different uh, record for console on PC because on PC the fast travel works differently, so it shaves off almost an hour of travel time. So they're just completely different categories. Um, yeah, okay. But the world record on console is four hours, 32 minutes, and 11 seconds. And that, to me, feels really reasonable to do. Um, and so... I think you could do that. I know how quick you can fucking do it already. How, have you done any sort of speed run yet? Have you got a gauge of how long <clears> it can take you? Well, I've done... Well, I mean, so, like, my past casual speed runs have been under six hours. It's been, like, five and a half to six hours long. And that's when I'm, like, just chatting and everything and just sort of messing about. So that's, like, already looks pretty good. But I've been doing some practice runs um, or, like, just practicing s- specific, like, memory blocks um, to just see how quickly I can do it. And I got, like, a proper timer set up and I've got, like, the uh, world record times for each segment uh, programmed into the thing so it can compare me against it. Um, and yesterday I did memory block two a few times and I managed to comp- I managed to get through the Masyaf section with the traitor where you got to find him and then Tamir's Damascus assassination um, in I did all of that together 48 seconds quicker than the world record time so Holy shit. I'm already in a really good position so I released yeah. my review for Valhalla and it's called the last Assassin's Creed my last Assassin's Creed game the mm-hmm. last AC I'll ever play um, and all of them was like, I can't wait till the next game gets announced and you, you play it. I'm like, you guys have <laughs> just no idea who I am. Yeah, like, you guys just weird. don't understand how stubborn I am. Yeah. And and certain other comments have been like, what if it's like, and even what you said in this podcast, what if it's mm-hmm. the exact game you want? And I'm like, James, there hasn't been the exact game I've want since Revelations. It's yeah. been ten years. I've let it go. Yeah. I, I, I literally don't have it anymore in me. And it, 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 the game I want doesn't even exist anymore, if that makes sense. Like, I don't want mm-hmm. anything anymore. Like, I literally have yeah, let it go yeah. so much. Like, I don't even have a game I want anymore. I don't have it. It's gone. I don't have some Assassin's Creed thing I want to see. I don't have some game in mind. I don't have a setting I want to see. I Like, there's nothing. I don't have anything. I've let... That's the level I've let it go. Yeah. And I've like sure. even if the next game looks good, even if you'll tell me how good it is, out of stubbornness, I will not play it. And that's what I want everyone to understand. <laughs> I will not play it. Yeah. That's I will how watch I, I I will watch like spoilers, because I'll still be I've got to be on the spoiler cast because views. Um mm-hmm. and I've got to have an opinion, but that way I can sort of media and be like, Oh, you guys tell me what you thought of the game and yeah, so this is what happened in the ending, that sounds fucking mental or you know what I mean? Like so mm-hmm. I'm still gonna like yeah pay attention but rather than spend a hundred hours of my fucking life and then add another hundred hours of making videos from it i'm just gonna watch like two hours of videos yeah. and then know what happened and talk about it on podcasts yeah I mean, save myself a lot of time yeah save myself a lot of time so yeah. like i will i'm sure i'll know what happens in the next games and i'll and i'll know what's going on because i can't avoid it my twitter will always be filled with oh the new assassin's creed got revealed and i'll, I'll obviously be talking to you about it on the podcast Mm-hmm. But uh, I'm not going to play it. But we also really want to go through and do all the Kingdom Hearts games again. Um, because also mm. I privated pretty much every video on Horsey and Fox. Um, so everything pre-2019 is now no longer on the channel. Um, why? For, what do you mean, uh, why? Yeah, no, yeah I, I just, <laughs> Obvious reasons. You, if you know, you know. Yeah, if you don't, why it doesn't why matter. Why, why, why did um, I even ask that? Yeah, I do know. You're right, I do know. But yeah, it uh, was bad. I realised because someone, link- someone was like, James, go and watch... Um, your Sonic Generation towards your Vox uh, stream. And um, I got about five minutes in, and we said probably about 17 obscene things. Um, oh, and I had to just, I was like, that's it. They're all gone. I can't do this. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, that's Horsey and Fox yeah. has kind of had a, a bit of a clean slate. I wiped it. But, uh, yeah, that means we've got to build it back up again. So, we've got to do all the Kingdom Does Hearts mean you games need a, again. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, mm-hmm. I love that. That's yeah. awesome. Ethan needs to be alone. Ethan needs to be alone. It's not that funny. It's not that funny. You know what I mean. You said it with such conviction. (laughs) (laughs) Ethan needs to be alone. (laughs) Ethan needs to be. Ethan should die alone. Um, (laughs) Ethan needs.
Mm-hmm. We launched the Four Pillars fucking network, man. We haven't even talked about that. Yeah, we did do that, yeah. Well, we're on it um, now. We're on it right now. You're, you, yeah. if, you, I mean, you might not be. You might be listening on podcast services everywhere. You might be. That's but, true, yeah. But we launched the Four Pillars Network, the YouTube channel. Um, do you want to talk a bit about, um, you know, what, what, what are your feelings now, a week later? How, how do you feel it all went and mm-hmm. the work we put in into it on the lead up and, and how it's all paid off and the work we've still got to do? You know, mm. we're not done yet. Yeah, for sure. I think it's um, it's been really cool. I love the community reaction to it. I think people are really into it um and obviously there's things that are still coming like we just recently launched as well the four pillars clips channel which if you're not already subscribed to it go and subscribe i'm sure that'll be linked in the description as well um if you're listening on youtube if you're not just search four pillars clips um but you know a channel for being able to put all of our clips from all of our streams or any of our like podcasts if there's any sort of moments we want to clip um or whatever it might be um there's a place for that so like i know people don't have a lot of time to sit and fucking listen to you know or go through like hours and hours of streams i know how much there is just in terms of lasers content imagine doing that for the all of the pillars like there's just so much so it's nice to have a place for you know segment segments and clips and highlights that people can just tune into to stay up to date on the community and still feel involved Um, so that's exciting and i like that that we've launched that but um you know four pillars now it's been good the response has been sick the the spoiler cast is done really well and i'm sure it'll continue to do so and streamcast did really well as well you know past two thousand views um the other day so that's that was really, really cool that's really um good. yeah really really good the, the view to subscriber ratio is really nice um and hopefully we can keep it keep it going and uh when the past cast launches uh that'll be good as well so what's the date for the past cast uh, february 18th is it i 18th, think yeah, okay. yeah 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 it is yeah so not this not this week next week mm-hmm. next yeah, wednesday next, thursday and uh, next yeah yeah 